Hello everyone, so Mr Smelly thinks he's too important to say things like please like and subscribe or click the notification icon. So he's asked me to do all that kind of stuff at the beginning of this video for him. So here we go. If you give me a like, then I'll buy you a bike. If you give me a thumbs up, I'll put pictures of girls' bums up. Click the notification bell or you may as well go to hell. Follow the link in the description for a free one month subscription. Connect your bank card to the USB socket, then you can send money directly into my back pocket. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll post a picture of myself on the shitter. If you don't follow my Instagram feed, then you're not the kind of friend I need. I've got much better things to do than answer stupid comments from the likes of you. If you send me 10 quid, I'll print your name in a vid. If you send me 15, I'll show your picture on the screen. Welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So today we're going to be having a look at my top 10 fresh fragrances for men that last really well. So fresh fragrances smell great. Most of us really like a fresh smell or two in our collection, uh, but often they don't last or perform as well as we might like to. So I've got 10 that I think really last well and there's going to be an honorable mention too. So let's get straight into it. The honorable mention then is Dior Sauvage the Eau de Toilette really really fresh and excellent longevity and performance on this one doesn't happen to be one of my favorite smells i just find it a little bit dull and it just it isn't my favorite but um it it is very nice in performance it certainly is fresh bergamot lavender bit of a kind of soapy metallic element with ambroxan as a keynote in this one great performance and very very fresh indeed however uh, a lot of people do own this one so it might not be the most unique scent nowadays but you've got to give it credit where it's due fresh and performs well. So moving into my list proper, we're gonna start with a slightly lesser known one, and this is Neroli's Portofino from Perfume Parlor, based in the UK. It's a clone, of course, of Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino. That is a soapy, fresh, citrus, old school cologne scent. It smells a lot like 4711 cologne, which was first released in the 18th century. Um, and this one performs better, certainly than 4711, and even than Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino for me. Doesn't quite match the opening perfectly, but in the dry down, uh, yeah, even after half an hour, almost indistinguishable. Really, really great performance and longevity. The only downside on this one is if you're outside the UK, you cannot buy the spray out. They will send you the oil. They make the roll on oils as well. And I haven't tried that, but I would imagine it's gonna be a winner if it's got the same formula as the fragrance oil in this one. So really, really good clone of Neroli Portofino, but it does have, for me, better longevity if you're in the UK. The sprayer of that, well worth getting. I think it was about 12 pounds for 50 mil. Fantastic value. Lasts all day, great for work, really soapy and clean classy love that scent so that was number 10 let's have a look at number nine a little bit of a jump in price now because this one is 1861 renaissance from zerzhoff uh, they have changed the packaging a little bit so uh, these ones now come in a different style bottle anyway rather expensive fragrance but it is exquisitely well done and a beautiful citrus kind of fruit salad smell with the usual suspects of uh, some bergamot and other fresh citrusy crisp notes oranges that kind of thing lime and lemon you're going to detect I think there in the opening uh, and there's some nice musk and cedar in the base of this one really really nice longevity actually it's not massive in projection but the longevity is excellent it's an eau de parfum and 1861 from Zerzhoff I know a lot of people talk about Neo and Kobe from Zerzhoff as well but I think this is as good as them and a little bit less expensive actually this one than those superb performance excellent exquisite really citrusy crisp fruit salad kind of smell very very classy and quite unisex so brilliant freshy if you can afford it 1861 renaissance from the house of zerzhoff so moving on from that one next up we're going to have dunhill's icon now some people i have seen say that they don't think the uh, longevity is amazing on this one i've always got really good longevity out of this so this was a 2015 release has some lovely uh, bergamot and neroli in the opening a little bit of black pepper spiciness and there's quite a bit of vetiver in the base lavender as well and some iso -E super so a lot of these are not just transparent citrus aquatic type fragrances we've got some depth and woodiness in a lot of the ones in this list and of course that will help with longevity but overwhelmingly 
definitely a fresh scent. So for me, a lot of people are mentioning as uh, real perennials in their collection, things like Bleu de Chanel or Sauvage. For me, for an all-rounder, masculine fresh scent, Dunhill Icon with tremendous longevity, projects quite nicely and really stays on my skin for hours and hours, gets me through the work day, no problem. So definitely one worthy of a place there in the list at number eight. Moving on then, another slight jump in price, we're gonna have Green Irish Tweed from the House of Creed. I've always got excellent longevity out of this one from Creed. So of course, of course, it's famous as their really gentlemanly spring type of scent, a grassy green lemon verbena uh, element in the opening on this one. Some lovely violet leaf and sandalwood and a little bit of peppermint and a dehydro mercenol, this kind of crisp, clean, slightly sweet, woody smell that's in a lot of fragrances. Excellent, excellent fragrance from 1985. Crisp, clean and grassy, gentlemanly, and it lasts really well, I find. So one of the better performing fresh creeds for me, Green Irish Tweed. And a quick mention just while we talk about that one, the new release from Parfums Vintage, which I've been testing from a small sample before it was released, it has really good longevity and is a copy of Green Irish Tweed. They've done two at once. I've got Emerald Isle. They've also released Verbena Fields. Verbena Fields has more of the lemon verbena accented. In Emerald Isle, we get a little bit more of an accent on the violet leaf and the sandalwood and the mint. I think this is more similar to my bottle of Green Irish Tweed, and it has similarly excellent, really, really good longevity. I've been wearing it quite a bit over the last few days, and it really hangs around. Is there a slight difference in smell? Well, I'm gonna do a little bit more testing, but it's certainly a little bit, maybe better, I, th I think, yeah, slightly better than the really inexpensive GIT clothes that I mentioned recently, things like Rag Bar for Man. Just a little bit better than those. You are going to pay a bit more. It's about $89, I think, for 100 mils. But I'm really impressed by this one so far. And great longevity, good performing freshie, definitely. Okay, moving on from that one then. Uh, another one that you've seen in quite a few of my videos probably is Bulgari's Aqua Amara. Okay, this one, I think it might be discontinued, but it's still easy to find and very, very cheap nowadays. Lovely kind of citrus opening. You've got the usual kind of sort of bergamot and orange type smells in the opening. There's a little bit of incense and patchouli in the base, giving this a nice depth. Still sort of citrusy and aquatic. It means bitter water in Italian, the word, uh, the two words, aqua amara. And I find this one has a really nice bitter citrus combination with a sort of bit modern, generic maybe, but really well done design citrus freshy and the longevity excellent so for me uh, I reach for this in preference to things like Versace man au fresh and, and maybe even Versace pour on better performance than both of those and excellent excellent longevity so if you're looking to smell fresh for a long time for a low price Bulgari's aqua amara could be the way to go Moving on then, next I think we're at number five in the list. Well, I'm going to pay another visit to the House of Parfums Vintage because I am really impressed by the longevity on Pineapple Vintage Intense. So this is one of their numerous Aventus clones. Pineapple Vintage Intense, uh, in terms of the note breakdown compared to some of their other variations, at the fresher end, more of the pineapple and the fruitiness. Eau de Parfum, of course, really, really nice longevity, lasts for absolutely ages, and a, an absolutely great take on the Aventus idea. Smells a little bit different to Aventus, but very, very close, particularly in the dry down, and it lasts ages. So Pineapple Vintage Intense for uh, longevity and freshness. You will not go far wrong with that one. Okay, now moving on, we have next up, I think we're at number four already. This is one of my absolute favorite fragrances of all time. My list here, there's, there's not massive differences between number 10 and one. They're all really good. I, the order is almost random. Maybe the top two or three or four here are my real favorites. And I guess this would count as one of those because it's Essenza, Colonia Essenza from the house of Aqua de Palma. And please check out my written review of Colonia Essenza. I have a written review blog. The link is in the description. Uh, opens up with some neroli, tangerine, grapefruit, uh, petit grain, every kind of citrus you can imagine, but it's got depth. Uh, in the base, there's, or the mid in the base, you've got some rose, there's patchouli, there's musk in here, there's a little bit of amber. It's really, really deep and rich, but still very uh, fresh smelling. So if you want something a bit like Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino on steroids, bypass Neroli Portofino Forte, which is really expensive, because this for a niche fragrance for 100 mil is very reasonably priced. I think it's just a little bit shy of 100 pounds for 100 mils here in the UK, around about that kind of price. You may be able to even occasionally do better on discounters. So Essenza from Aqua de Palma, really, really nice longevity, last ages, fantastic performance, and I wear it to work sometimes, I wear it on nights out, and I have got a few unsolicited compliments. I am not the compliment guy, don't get many compliments, but this I have noticed does get me a few now and again, and that's a testament 
to its great performance and beautiful citrus aroma. Okay, quick change of camera angle for number three then. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of say any fresh fragrance from Dua Fragrances. They have really seemingly to me mastered the art of making fresh citrusy smells hang around. Supernova, their take on Elysium from Roger Dove, the two versions, the Parfum Cologne and the Parfum version mixed, I think apparently by Dua. Really, really bright citrus rind, grapefruit and things like that in this one. Very, very fresh, sparkling, a little bit like Aventus, but not quite the same. And uh, if you don't mind buying a clone, do have done really well their high concentration of oil and it really really lasts on the skin also imperial pastique by them is a superb copy of creed's millicene imperial and i should also mention that i'm hugely impressed by water of arabia which is their take on silver mountain water from creed so you do pay a little bit more for these 50 to 60 dollars ish and you're only getting 30 mil but they're incredibly strong and they really have mastered the art of making citrus freshness stick around and be beast mode now let's go back to my other camera angle continue with the list so we're already at number two uh, number two for me then you've heard again from me about this one quite a lot it's gorse from laboratory perfumes I'm sorry that it's another Creed clone but it just so happens some of them are they smell great and they've got good longevity the ones in this list so gorse from laboratory perfumes smells almost identical to Creed's virgin island water based on owning only a small decant of that one I find this has at least as good I think a rather better performance I think Virgin Island Water performs okay I think this has better performance it has stellar longevity and it really projects nicely very very beautiful crisp kind of coconut and lime combination the two main things you'll get out of this one um, that, that's basically it lime and coconut there's some standard kind of woody stuff in the bottom to balance things out really really fresh summer holiday kind of smell a little bit tropical in the vibe that it gives you gorse is a flower uh, that we get in the UK that smells similar to coconut uh, but I think surely can't be coincidence it smells so similar to Virgin Island Water. Last ages, great option. I'll try and put a link to where you can buy it in the USA because some people have said it's hard to find. I know people in the USA who have it, uh, but I'm gonna try and find out exactly where it's in stock there at the, at the moment, if I can. And here I am a few minutes later editing the video. Thanks very much to Patrick Echevarria. Hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, he is a Fragcom legend and he has reminded me that you can get this one, for example, on beautyhabit.com in the USA. It was $95 there today for 100 mil of this one. I'll put the link in the description. So my number one choice, I guess this does maybe edge out the others in performance because it's actually pretty much beast mode and this is Mansera. Cedrat Boise. So Cedrat Boise, widely compared to Aventus, but it's not a clone, it just has some similarities. Opens up with a beautiful lemon and has also a black currant note in there. And there's also some lovely cedarwood in the base. Really, really nice sort of sweet citrusy opening, but it is definitely fresh. And a real depth and, and um, likability about this fragrance. A really great all-rounder, but it sticks to the skin really well as a lot of Mansera and Montal fragrances do. And longevity is excellent. So Eau de Parfum, fresh, citrusy, a little bit of crisp cedarwood, lovely fruity black currant note in there, giving it a little bit of sweetness, but definitely very much in the category of a fresh fragrance. Kind of unisex, but certainly works really, really well for a man. A bit similar to Aventus, but I prefer actually slightly the smell and the performance is better. Really, really great longevity, superb spring and summer fragrance all, all year round. One of the absolute best performing fresh fragrances. And you can buy this if you're careful on things like Notino. I've seen it for 70 something pounds for 120 mils. Great value and sometimes even better deals may come up. So Mansera, Cedrat Boise, if you're looking for longevity and freshness, probably my number one, but anything on this list I'd say is excellent. Let me know what you thought of my selections. What did I miss out? Are there any other great performing uh, fresh scents? Do you agree? with there any that you think, no, I have that. It doesn't perform well. You're wrong, Mr. Smelly. Let me know it down there in my nether regions. I'm always welcoming constructive comments. As ever, thank you very much for watching. And remember, whatever we're doing in life, let's project. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.